Okay guys, today what we're going to do is we're going to draft the male pant sloper. And for the most part, it is pretty much just like the um, female pant sloper. Uh, with, you know, a few differences. And one of the main differences that we're going to have is that we're using a different measurement chart. Now this is up in your uh, handout section on Blackboard, so take a look at it if you want to do the male pant sloper instead of the female one. Again, you have the option to do either or. Just let me know which one you did when you turn it in. And if you want to do both, extra credit. Um, so this is what it looks like. Um, and we are going to do a size 38 right here. And most of the measurements are the same. Um, there's not really too much difference to them. Um, and that being so, a lot of the steps that we do when we draft the pan sloper is going to be pretty much the same. Um, so again, take a look at the steps if you want to follow along on your um, pan sloper uh, directions. Again, up in your handout section on Blackboard, if you want a sort of um, written follow along sheet. And again, I'd save it too. It's in your book, of course, which you should have. Um, starting on page 531 for your menswear basic foundation or trouser. Um, and we're going to start the same way as we did for the female and create a box that is our waist to ankle, so 37 and 3 quarters, which is suspiciously close to the female measurement. Um, and we are also going to do the hip arcs together plus a half inch of ease. So um, these two guys together will give us 21 inches um, and we'll add a half inch of ease to that so it'll be 21 and a half. Okay, so now that we have those measurements, let's go ahead and put them in. Put a piece, new piece, create rectangular piece. Our length here, 37 and 3 quarters, that's good. And then we're just going to add a half an inch here and be done with it. Okay, let's rotate it up. See if it fit. And now from here, what we're going to do, again, same thing as we did on the female one, we're going to go ahead and put in some horizontal measurements um, representing the hip line, the crotch line, and the knee line. Okay. So first thing we're going to do is the crotch line. So on your measurement chart, um, we don't have a hip depth, so we're going to do what they say on the measurement and just take a proportion of the value uh, from the waist down to the crotch depth. They did that on the female version too, but I kind of uh, just used the hip depth measurement, measurement that they had there. Now they do have a seat depth measurement, and we'll find that it is very close to our hip depth, so it's probably if you wanted to use the seat depth instead of doing the proportionate value, I'm sure that that would be fine. Um, but for this, we're going to go ahead and put in our crotch depth first, or a, our rise, uh, as it's much more commonly called, especially for men. See that it is 10 and uh, 1 eighth inch, and it's asking us, just like in the female version, to add 3 quarters inch to that, which, as I said previously in the other version, is a little small in my opinion. Um, especially for guys, I like to, so for women, I like to leave about an inch um, ease on that crotch depth. For guys, I like to do inch and a half, even to two inches. They have a little bit more need for ease down there. Um, but we're going to follow the directions as is for now, just in the future. If, um, and especially if things seem to be sort of riding a little bit too close or they're just too tight in between the legs and that crotch area, um, the best thing to do is to lower your crotch depth. That'll give you a little bit more ease and comfort in that area. Um, and again, it depends on the fit of the pants that you want. If you're doing very, very if you're doing tight, tight leggings, um, you know, keep it at half an inch. Um, if you're doing a little bit more relaxed fit or even a drop crotch, go ahead, add even more than that. If you want to do like a harem style pant with the crotch really, really low, 
then your crotch depth is going to be really, really low, uh, and you're going to add a lot of ease to that measurement, basically down to where you want that drop crotch to um, basically end. Anyways, so if we add uh, 3 quarters to that 10 and 1 eighth crotch depth measurement, we're going to get 10 and 7 eighths, so let's put that in. I'm going to grade it. And now it's asking us uh, to put in the hip depth, which is going to be one third of this distance up from the crotch depth. So it'll be about right here. And what's nice is we can use our proportionate value to find this. We don't have to um, do any math. So um, 0.33 is one third. So one third up from here, our previous point will be the value that we want. And we'll just come here, 0.33 from there. And that'll give us what we want. Okay, now what we want to do is we want to put in the knee. And the knee is halfway from the crotch here, but also up two inches. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do my proportionate value first to find the midpoint. And this is my next point. So what I want it to be is um, two inches closer to this point. So I'm going to minus two inches from this measurement to get 11.44 and then slap one in right there. And let's do the same thing over here. And since I already know that measurement, I can just type it in. Okay, now that we have all of our measurements in, let's put in our horizontal lines uh, with the draft tool. One, two, right click, finish drafting. There's our hip line. One, two, right click, finish drafting. There's our crotch line. One, two, right click, finish drafting. And there is our knee line. Yay! Okay, so now let's go ahead and put in our side seam line. Now in the male draft, um, one of the differences is the back is over here on the right side and the front is over here on the left side. Why they switched it, I don't know. Um, but again, I'm just going to follow directions that they have here. And um, we know that the back side is going to be slightly wider than the front side um, because our front, uh, our back hip arc is larger than the um, front. So if I come here and look at the hip arcs for the back, I see it is 10 and 3 quarters inch. Now I need to add a quarter inch of ease to that so it's going to round up to a nice even 11. So I'm going to add a point in here. That is 11 inches from here, which is my, you guessed it, next point. Let's grade it. Okie dokie. And let's do it now. Again, now this will be my previous point. Okay, draw a line connecting them, and that's going to serve as our side seam, or stand in side seam until we refine it. Okay. Now what we want to do is we want to place a few more points to help us sort of construct out the upper part. Because um, as you remember from, or if not, if you didn't watch it, most of our drafting is really going to be done up here with shaping out the crotch extensions, the part that kind of goes in between your legs and allows for the pant legs to sort of bifurcate themselves and also to sort of uh, create the hip curves and the waists and the darts and all the things like that. So the first thing I want to do is I want to put in a midway point between my crotch depth and my waist point. Um, now I need to turn off the grading points for this to do that. So I'm just going to turn off the grading points at either end of my hip line. And now I can place a point right in the midpoint and I'll use my proportionate value to do that. 
Now, um, we are doing this to help shape the curve to come, so we're just going to kind of place this here and forget about it for now, but it's going to come into play later on. Now, um, what I also want to do is place a point to do the end of my waistline. And how we're going to do that is we're going to take our waistline measurement and add the dart intake and the ease to that and then measure outward. Um, so let's do the front first. Our front waist measurement is 9 inches and I need to add um, an inch of dart intake plus a quarter inch so that'll be 10 and a quarter inches. Now if you see here that's very close to my hip arc for the front so I'm not going to have a ton of curve for my front hip. It's going to be mostly straight but um, no matter. This of course is my previous Let's make it a grading. So very close there, but that's okay. Um, and let's move on to the back. In the back, what we're going to do is we are going to add um, only one inch, which I'm a little confused why they have so much more dart intake on the front, but whatever. We'll give it to them. Um, but just moving back, so it is ten and three quarters is our back hip arc. Um, eight and a quarter is our front waist arc, or I'm sorry, our back waist arc. To that, we're going to add one inch, which of course will be nine and a quarter. So this is our next point. And it's grading, okay. Now what we're going to do is um, I want to go ahead and start to shape the back. So remember, we need to sort of lift up the back here. Now, you might also be saying, uh, uh, hey, this is a lot like the skirt. And I didn't mention it. I mentioned this a lot in the uh, female version, but not for the male version. Um, this pretty much is the skirt draft, but we're just going to do some like little crotch extensions to um, able to bifurcate it. So again, this is really the same as um, the skirt, maybe with just some minor variations and those crotch extensions being built out. Um, so I want this three quarters in and three quarters up. So let's do that. And then I'll use my draft tool to draft it up for the th next three quarters. No change here. Right click finish drafting. Okay. So we are well on our way. We have all the bare bones um, metered out. And what I'm going to do, which I think might give us sort of a little bit smoother waist, is I'm going to do a little bit more of the building out of the waistline before we put the darts in. Um, I think that'll make it a little bit easier and a little bit better. Um, so what I'm going to do, um, especially since we have such a high rise, um, I'm going to go ahead and begin to build out my waistline um, starting on the back. So what I want to do, let's, I'm going to zoom in on that area. I'm going a little bit different than um, the directions in this sheet. And this is just to make it easier in OptiText. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to just go ahead, build this out from the side seam wa uh, waist point and go up to that raised center back point. And I'm going to use my build piece tool to go ahead and build it out, finish drafting, and join it on. Because again, since it is such a high rise, um, it's going to be kind of difficult to blend in the darts easier if we do this step later. So we'll do it now. Okay, so there we are. And we're actually going to alter the front a little bit too. We're going to go ahead and just chop off about a quarter inch. So not too much. 
and let's just cut it from there. Right into our side seam waist point. And then get rid of that. So now from here, since we have basically our waistline built up, I can go ahead and put in the darts, and these will be pretty much the final darts. Um, so a little bit easier um, than doing the measuring of the darts out before I build out the waist. So um, on the front we have two darts. Um, the dart placement is going to be... Do, do, do. Let's see. One third of the waist. Jeez, just give us a dart placement number. Oh, this math. Anyway, it doesn't matter because we do have OptiTex, so I'm going to just place this first one by um, proportion. So it wants one third of this distance. Fine then. 0.33 is one third, as we went over before. Let's make sure it's grading. And that will start off our dart run. Um, each of these darts is going to be a half an inch. And the space in between is going to be an inch and a quarter. And one more. Alrighty. Now these darts are going to be three inches long and we can go ahead and put those darts in right now if we want. And let's go ahead and do the back. Now the back is only going to have one dart and it is going to be um, one half of the measure, so it's going to be right in the middle of this. So what I'm going to do is again use my proportionate value for the first mark. Yep, both of those are grading, so that'll work well. And it is going to have um, a depth of I'm sorry, a width of three quarters. And the dart depth will be three and a half inches. And this is fairly small, but this is one of those main differences between um, our male draft and our female draft are the darts. Um, it's you might be asking why? Why is the darts are the darts so much smaller, and um, you know, in depth and in length? Well, whereas you know, men's hips and waist ratio are a lot um, smaller than females. So females have rather large hips and a rather small waist, whereas men tend to have a waist and hip that are much closer in circumference than females. And uh, that will cause the darts to be smaller, as uh, not as much shape or contour is needed. Um, you know, if we think that the width of the darts really indicates the change in circumference. So when we have a female with small waist, big hips, uh, we have very large darts. Um, men, of course, you know, a little bit less, so our darts are going to be smaller. Um, okay. So we've taken care of that. Now let's go ahead and move on to our crotch extensions to build out um, what our crotch extensions will be and forming those curves. So what we're going to do is uh, build out along our crotch line and we're going to take a look at the male proportion. So this will be a little bit different than in the female proportions as well. So this will be another difference. Uh, building it out will be pretty much the same. Um, but our proportions are going to be a little bit different. So um, 
On the front, our front crotch extension is going to be one-fourth of the um, hip line. So this is our hip line. We want to measure it, get one-fourth, and then build it out. So let's go ahead and do it. Pretend I forgot what it is. Actually, I did ten and ten and a, a fifth. So let's find out what a fourth of that is. Ten point five, not ten and a fifth. Sorry. Uh, and a fourth of that is going to be two point six two five, which I believe is five eighths. You can round out that up to 2.63 uh, if you want. Or you can do 5 eighths if you want to. It's all up to you. All right, and we're going to build out from the crotch line. So I'm going to start here by clicking, and then we're going to build this outward. Pull down the alt, and I'm going left. So it is going to be a negative value. Make sure it's not going up or down. Okay. And right click finish drafting. And there is our front crotch extension. Now let's go ahead and do the back. Um, on the back, it's going to be one half of our back. So, okay, so it is the same proportionately. That was wrong. Sorry, I don't drop a lot of men's clothes. <laughs> Um, and I believe this, this was 11, right? Yep. So let's find what a fourth of 11 is. Oh, half of 11. That's right. Sorry, I don't need a calculator for that. Uh, five and a half. And we'll bring that out in the same way. Make sure there's no variation in the direction you don't want it to be. All right, right click, finish drafting. Alrighty, now I got one more thing to do before we um, basically draft out and shape the rest of the curve uh, for our seat here. And I want to put in a couple of guidelines. Okay, the guidelines are going to be a little bit different, so whatever. Um, what we're going to do to create, but the guidelines don't really make sense. Wait, hold on. So the way they have the guy, the guidelines are a little bit different than in the female version. So let's try to do it. Although I'm a little skeptical at this point. You know what? I don't like the way they do it here. So what I'm going to do is I'm we're, we're going to do it a little differently than in the directions because I don't really like the way they do it here. We're going to do it the same as in the female version. We're just going to bring out for the back here a two inch line that is bisecting this 90 degree angle, so it'll be 45 degrees. So let's type that in for 45 and make sure the total thing is two inches. And this is easy going in this direction because you can just type in 45, but you'll know it's a 45 degree angle if the X and Y are the same. Little hint. And right click finish drafting. And let's move over here. And this is going to be um, one and a half inches.
And since we're doing it the other way, it's basically as it's saying 9 degrees would be straight up. So we're adding 45 degrees to 90, which will be 135. And you can double check that number. Just again, remember that it will make uh, these guys the same, the X and Y the same. Okay, right click, finish drafting. All right. That is easier than whatever is going on in these directions. Um, yeah. All right, let's build out the curve. And what we're going to do, uh, front is going to be super easy. We're just going to start here at this little point. Remember this guy we made? And I'm going to click here, hold shift, click through here, and then end up right here. Okay? One, two, three clicks, and then finish drafting. Easy, easy. Here's going to be a little bit more complicated. Um, actually, no, it's not. I'm going to start here and do the same thing. Right click, finish drafting. Now it looks like I made that, okay, good, because I made that a curve point. Now, um, one more thing we have to do for the back is I'm just going to use my cut piece tool and cut from here to here. And we're going to get rid of this guy. Beep. All right, now what I do want to do is I want to build these out. So I made the curved shape, but I need to make them part of my pattern piece. So let's go ahead and build them out. And then join them back up where they need to be joined. And same thing over here. There we go. All right, guys. Almost there. All we got to do is shape out the legs a little bit. So what we're going to do is um, find the sort of midpoint of the leg. And this is where the sort of if you're going to crease them, uh, where the crease would be, sort of the center front of the leg, so to speak. And the way we find that is um, to take the full sort of crotch length of each side and find the midpoint. So let's go here. Okay, half of that. Six, and we can round that up to six, uh, 5.67 or uh, 6.57. And I'm going to measure that from this point in, which makes, don't want that to be, that might get in the way, so I'm going to turn that off. Now let's go ahead and measure that in from there, which of course is going to be our previous. Well, maybe not of course, because it's a little hard to tell. And that is going to be too far away, so where is my previous point? Is it still measuring from here? I'm going to try to put a point here and then just take the proportionate halfway. Still measuring from here. I don't want you to measure from there. I turned you off. I turned you off. I guess I didn't do a good job. Maybe I turned it on. Ha ha ha. Okay, now it should work. 
Let's just use our proportion of value. There we go, that's better. And we're going to do the same thing over here. Again, let's make sure that this is not grading. Don't want that getting in the way. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw out a drag line to sit on these two points, and that's going to help us create the leg. Because we now know where the center of the leg is. So I'll drop that there and there. And now let's scroll down to the end. Boop, 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 boop. Okay, there we go. Um, now from here I want to measure out um, four and a quarter inches from each side on the front and four and three quarters inches out from each side on the back. So the first thing I'm going to do is place a point where that guideline is intersecting and make sure it's grading. And let's do the inside first, and here's the front, so we're going to measure out. This is my next point. Four and a quarter. Okay. And let's measure out on the back. And that's three and a quarter from my previous. Three and three quarters, four and three quarters. Okay, now what I can do is I can actually separate these pieces. I can do the inside uh, side seam line. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do the cut out my hip seam. Um, so what I'm going to do is cut from here, maybe one in the middle here. Again, it's going to want to snap it so close there. And then cut it down to basically here. And then one sort of just point in the middle there to curve the hip there. Okay. Let's delete that away. And now what I'm going to do is from here, I'm just going to cut sort of straight down and then start to taper, taper the legs after the crotch line. So let's zoom out. I'll start cutting here, cut to here, and then down to my point that I just made. Okay, now there's our back. I'm not going to move it yet because I want to keep my guideline where it is, but I can cut the other side. And that'll just be straight up to there. Okie doke. Now we can get rid of that middle piece. And now what I want to do is shape out what's missing in here. And so what I'm going to do, I'm going to do that with my draft tool. I'm going to start here. And then I'm going to draft out the four and three quarters inch that I need. Make sure we're not changing this at all. And then we're going to draft all the way up to my crotch extension here. And we're going to do the same thing over here. Got to do negative direction because we're going in leftwards. Right click, finish drafting. 
Where did this one go? Alright, well, I'll do it again. Okay, now let's build it out. Attach it in. And same on the other side. And there we are. Um, one couple more little detail um, on how to finish this off. We want to square out the crotch extension a little bit. So I'm going to show you how to do that. This is again going to help us put it together. Give us a little bit more ease. And again, we always like to square out things when we can. Let me I'm going to blend that in a little bit further now. So let me zoom out. Hmm, look at that little bit of a mess right there. That bump. Hmm. So something like this, when you see a little bump like that, it's best to just sort of start deleting a few points. I was going to move it, but I remember that's a little bit better to do. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this point with my draft tools, start there, just bring it out a half an inch. And what we're going to do is, I'm going to bring it down a little bit more because I'm going to just sort of blend it in. Oh, don't tell me you pointed there. Okay, good. Right click, finish drafting. Just so just blending it in there. And we're going to build out that as well. And that's just going to make it a little bit easier to make. And we're going to do the same thing here over on the back side as well. So just a half an inch squared out. And blend it in. Build it out. Join it up. And we are done drafting. Okay, last little things, of course. Um, we want to put in the pattern information that's necessary. Make sure it's readable and the information that we want is there. And what we're going to do is um, for each one, since we've been doing so much building, um, the grain lines are somewhere crazy. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to baseline and just give it a new baseline, which resets it right in the middle there. And um, obviously I need this to go along the grain line, which I'm going to use my guideline for because we have all these curved lines. I could use my straight little center front seam here, but I'm going to use my guideline to make sure that it's straight. And let's name it something better. And do the same thing for our back piece. All right, 
front pant sloper, back pant sloper, and then let's just go ahead and make sure we know, give a style number or something, and we did a size 38. You'll do your name, pants over female, pants, uh, your name, pants over male, whatever you did. Again, if you do both of them, you'll get some nice extra credit. Um, but again, you only have, only have to do one. 